What's up? Welcome back. I'm making another scripper vlog tonight. I have not made a vlog in a while, but I haven't worked in a while. It's just been a lot happening. A lot's been happening. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to work tonight. It's Monday. It's like 8.45 right now. I'm just gonna put on some lashes and lay my edges and go. I've been wanting to do makeup, but once it's actually time to do the makeup, I always change my mind. <clears throat> I'm wearing this shirt. It has me on it. I have two of them. This one is like cut like this, and the other one's like cut to the side. But my friend made this for me. It's a custom. I think it's so cute. And that's me. But yeah, I'm just about to put some lashes on and lay my edges and get in the car and i'll talk to you guys in the car i suck because i literally forgot to vlog the entire night and i'm walking back to my car right now so what happened was um after i told you guys i was doing what i had to do and then leaving i did that i got in my car i drove here um, got out the car, like parked, got inside, changed, got onto the floor. It wasn't really um, that busy at first, but towards the end, people did start coming. Um, there wasn't as much money being thrown as, as I would like, but you know, we always want more money to be thrown. Uh -oh. Let me get in my car. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> oh, 7 Eleven is right here. Oh, fuck. I low key want to go inside and get like a hot chocolate. Sounds so good. But I should also save my money. So I feel like I only made probably like $30 or something. Um, the first time somebody asked me to dance, well, I danced with this first guy. He didn't tip me at all. That's another thing. The guys, are, they just be wanting you to dance for free. It's like the underground events are not strip clubs. They don't tip like strip clubs. I mean, it's just it is what it is so if i go to the club i make a decent amount of money if i go to these underground events i never hold my breath i always hope for the best but i never hold my breath so first guy asks me to dance takes me to the vip room tips me three dollars goes how much to fuck i said no he said huh i said yeah no nah, i don't do that he said all right he's like all right um yeah i'm about to go talk to my mans all right, cool. Three dollars. Start dancing with this other guy. Start dancing with this other guy. Things are all right. I feel like he tipped me maybe ten dollars during the dance, and then I feel him trying to take his dick out and trying to move my panties to the side. And at first, I'm thinking I'm bugging. I just get up. I stand up. I start dancing. I sit down. I feel him doing it again. I'm like, nah, yeah, I'm not bugging. So no get the fuck up and leave he's like you're gonna come back no i oh oh ooh. i oh i could have caused a scene i could have caused a fucking scene but i was like let me not cause a scene and draw all this unwanted attention to myself and let me just get the fuck up and leave this room I left the room went to another room to dance got on the pole for a little second actually got tipped on the pole which was lit because you know i'm still getting comfortable on the pole and i was doing little tricks and stuff so that was lit got tipped um and then i was about to leave because it was just really kind of dead but then i don't know i just felt something that was like you know just change your clothes oh yeah a group of guys came in so i'm like just change your clothes stay for a little while longer i ended up going back to the vip room to see what was up in there 
uh didn't make any money in there so i went back to the main room and when i went back to the main room there was nobody in there like when i say dead dead so yeah i was like let me just count my losses and go home excuse me i was tired i ended up going back into the changing room and there's the poles in the changing room and i was playing on the poles back there with the girls for a little while and then you know i got one of the girls instagrams she was really sweet and that was that and then yeah as soon as i walked out started talking to you guys in my car i'm really staring at 7-eleven but in the back of my mind i'm thinking i just need to go home and go to bed because i'm so tired and now i wish i took the train because i just wish i could get on the train and go home but also the train's not running right now so there's that but yeah um i guess i'll do a money count for you guys um when i get home i was gonna end the vlog right here but i'll do a money count for you guys um if it's more than 30 dollars then like it's lit i only paid 10 dollars to work so it's like you know but it was a good time i did have a good time it's real cute the event was set up nice they had vendors in there for food they had hookah they had drinks uh like the vip room like it was cute you know what i'm saying so yeah and like my car is warmed up a little bit about to put the address in put my phone in the charger <sighs> I really want to run into 7-Eleven. I don't have any snacks at home. I don't have any munchies. What am I gonna munch on when I get home? Ugh. Kinda want some chips or something. I'm gonna go home. You know, I really want some munchies. I'll make popcorn or something. Okay, I just got home. I just ate. I'm tired as hell. I'm about to roll up something and take these lashes off and go to bed. It's bedtime. My scarf. My charger. Excuse me, my cat is looking around me. It's bedtime. I already know. He's not trying to cry. I'm gonna put him to bed. $35. $35. More money than I left the house with. So, yeah, I left the house with like $10. Oh. Yeah, I left the house with $10. So now I have $45 that I can put to the side and save. I had $300 in my piggy bank. And then my car got towed the next day. And I had to spend over $200. And then the next day, well, over the next two days, I ended up spending $100 just on, like, things that I need. Like, things that I need around the house and just little things, you know what I'm saying? So, it's been a sad weekend because my piggy bank is, like, empty. And... I haven't really worked all week. And, yeah. Also, I haven't been back to that club. Um, I think this week I'm going to go audition at a new club. Fingers crossed I get in there. But, yeah. 
Otherwise, I might try and text that club and see if I can come back because after my car got towed, I was supposed to work the day my car got towed, so I text, I called them like, yeah, I can't work, like, my car just got towed, I don't even have a way there. And Saturday, like, I was just dealing with a lot, and I was, like, half asleep, and, like, I was just so tired, and I just really didn't have it in me to get up and go to work, so I just laid in the bed. And I didn't call or text anybody, which I should have just sent a text, but I was just, like, so, like, in my head that I didn't. Oh, yeah. I know they they said I have to work on Monday or Tuesday every week. And then, like, the weekends as well. Today's already Monday. So, I'm assuming if I want to work, I should hit them up tomorrow. But I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I need to, but I don't want to. We'll see. I feel like I'm about to get my period. Which is another reason why I feel like I'm going to stay home this week. I don't know. But I have to move my car in the morning, so I should Instacart or something. Also, I've been really into um, like GameCubes again. GameCube was like one of my favorite systems when I was little. And I really kind of want a GameCube, but I went to GameStop today because online it says they have them for $20. But they're completely sold out in the warehouse online everywhere so i can't get it but they have them at gamestop if i want a refurbished one i think it's 90 dollars, which is still not bad but like 20 dollars to 90 but i'm still thinking about it i don't know yet and then also i was thinking about getting a wii instead because with a wii i can play gamecube games and wii games and then i've also been thinking about getting a game boy like i don't know I'm just trying to get a system. I really want a system. I might get an old one. Then there's even like a PS2 or something, which I never wanted, but like it's only like $50. Like. And then also, I feel like I want to start collecting them because in about 20 years, I have a feeling these are going to be some money. So. But yeah, I'm babbling. That's it. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Fuck with you the long way, and I'm saying I mean, and I'll be back with another one. Also, I'm not gonna, um, of course, I'm still gonna keep filming stripper vlogs, but I'm going to also incorporate other videos. Like, um, I want to talk about my experience with the pole classes I've been taking. I did one full month of pole classes, I want to make a video talking about that. Um, I want to make a video talking about my life in general as a dancer. I want to make a video about a bunch of things, honestly. So, I'm not going to tell you guys everything. Just sit back and watch. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.